The haunted Ford in Mandan is ready to scare its customers every weekend in the month of October. The Ford is open every weekend and that's leading up to Halloween. Here's a sneak preview of the frightening fun. I think you could hear me screaming in the background <laughs> of that one, but Matt Chenandora, the executive director of the Mandan Progress Organization, thank you so much for joining us hey, today, Hey, thanks Matt. for having me. So, Matt, 21st season of the Haunted Fort. You guys have so many great things in the fort, but can you let us and our viewers know, is there anything new this year? Yeah, you know, we um, we redesigned the uh, our clown haunt <laughs> this year. We went a little bit more dark with it, and then... Uh, we brought in some really cool set designs with geometric shapes and the black lights and stuff like that. That's that's probably my favorite building because it's got so much kind of what I call eye candy in it because it's sure. got the colors and it's and it's the music going on and all the different kind of creepy weird things that happen in there. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. So that's a fun one. And then <laughs> in one and then in our last building, the uh, in the. Um, Labyrinth of Darkness, we have a new laser swamp that we brought in. Oh, wow. And it's very cool. It's, you go into the building and the lasers put out this kind of haze swamp that you have to walk through. It almost looks like you're walking through water. Wow. So really cool, really cool thing. Uh, we've had a lot of good people. This last week when we opened up, a lot of people were talking about it. And okay. It. Uh, it sounds like that is going to be difficult for me to navigate when my eyes are closed the whole time. <laughs> um, I was going to say, Amber's in the <laughs> labyrinth of darkness the entire, <laughs> all the time. All the time. Yeah. She's in the haunted house. Because I refuse to open my eyes. Um, but let's talk about how much Haunted Fort has grown and evolved since tw 21 years. 21 That's years. That's incredible. Yeah. 21 years. And it started as a as an afternoon kind of fun Halloween event and it, it grew from there to kind of creepy tours of the Custer House by Lantern and then some genius came, came up with the idea of bringing in some chainsaws and some clowns and some <laughs> other things and then it just kind of morphed from there. <laughs> so, I mean, no one wants to think about like the, when it's not haunted, right? But there's gotta be so much work that goes into getting this ready. What does that look like, Matt? Are there you and you got a whole team of we people? Have a whole, yeah, we have a whole team of um, uh, individuals that help with the sets and the design and stuff like that. We start, this, this is a year round kind of project. So we start the designing phase in February, March of the year happening. Um, we go to the uh, Trans World Halloween attraction show in St. Louis every year mm. and we get, um, fun things that we can find <laughs> there. We also get taught on safety and and des set designs and maze design and all those different things. So we bring a lot of knowledge to the, the playing field when we, when we design Haunted Fort. So there's, it's not just, here's a clown in the corner. No. It's, it, there's a lot of, uh, I don't know, what am I thinking of? My well, brain planning. is still <laughs> Monday. It's a lot still of planning. Monday. A lot of planning, but you said safety. Well, I know that's yeah, gotta be important. Safety. You got people safety, walking yep. through a dark room mm -hmm. or they've got their eyes closed, <laughs> like my dear friend Amber Schatz here. Um, but we you had mentioned like the, you know, again, things that people don't want to talk about, but like the, the chainsaw, right? It's mm -hmm. not an actual, I, I asked him, I was like, look, is it a real chainsaw? <laughs> mm -hmm. But it's not an actual chainsaw. No. And these are props here. Let's check the props yeah, out for a second. Yeah, what did you bring? Get, get yeah. my friend Amber with the cattle props. <laughs> so these are um, just noisemakers and, and noisemakers are great for haunted, haunted attractions. This is our cattle prod <laughs> type of thing. See, look. Um, so we give those to our actors. Wow. Okay. Uh, for that. This next one is what's scary though. This is our zombie, um, Tamer, basically. So the zombies get out once oh. in a while at the Haunted Forest. We gotta yeah. get them back in their in their holding area. So. Ah! Oh. Oh. You see. Oh my gosh. Stop. Ah. Stop. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So I mean, okay. this obviously showing, and like I said, um, one of the actors actually stopped to make sure I didn't fall down the stairs one time. Right. So obviously, safety me, is on the is on everyone's mind. And you have a children's bash. Mm -hmm. What well, can you tell us about the children's bash? Well, the um, the children's bash is bash is on um, Sunday, October twenty second, and it's an afternoon of fun at the state park. We have a, a little monsters hike. A lot of the kids come and get dressed up and come to the event. Um, we have like kids 
kids' games and things like that. And then we do kind of a downgraded tour of the of the General Custer's house there, um, decorated out so they can kind of see what it looks like in the daylight. Um, and so it's a fun opportunity to come out. But we really design the whole event around different levels, you know. Mm -hmm. So we we just had our spookless night this past weekend on Friday, which was no actors, but people could walk through and see it. We had a lot of adults that come out just to see yeah. what it looks like, because that's that's kind of the experience too. It's not just about the scaring, but it's really about like what goes into the experience, the design of the sets, the you know the the, the you know the the scenes and everything that we kind of create out there. Um, but then we go into our main event, and then at the end of the season, we have our darkness unleashed. And so the darkness unleashed is we take it to the next level, and we really continue to have the haunt, but we turn all of the lights off. Oh. In the haunts, and each member is given, or each guest coming through is given a glow stick as your main source of light to guide you through the event. And that actually, that event was um, came up by by our staff mm. because at the end of every night when we're closing, we're walking through the buildings and doing our checks and stuff like that. Well, nothing's on, so mm -hmm. we're just out there with a flashlight going through, and a lot of them are like. It's really creepy. Yeah, walking through <laughs> these buildings. You know, our actors are the ones right. getting freaked out. You know, because they're in a, they're in one of these buildings in the dark, going yeah. through, making sure everything's locked up and stuff. And and so we were kind of like, well, hey, maybe we could do that with some of our guests coming through. So we really designed Darkness Unleashed as what the actors were scared of mm -hmm. um, coming through. And it's been a great uh, a great last kind of hurrah of the of the haunt season right before Halloween there. Yeah. yeah, well, a big night for all the thrill seekers out there, <laughs> but there are options for you. Yes. Thank you, Matt, for Thanks, being Matt. with us yep. today. And for more information, folks, or to get tickets, go to hauntedfort.com. The Haunted Fort is located at Fort Abraham Lincoln State Park, the address right there on your screen. You can also follow them on social media at Haunted Fort.